Since the beginning of time, man has yearned to take to the skies, to soar with the eagles. Men such as da Vinci had the vision and desire to build flying machines. Through the years, many designs were tested. And most failed. But by the 20th century, man had mastered the basics and had embarked on a new and wondrous era in aviation. With these basics learned and proven, men with vision moved to form companies in the hopes of bringing aviation to the general public. One such man was William Boeing of Seattle, Washington. Boeing built his first airplane from a kit in 1915. Although it crashed shortly after completion, out of the rubble came a determination to design and build a better airplane. Six months later, the B&W flying boat was produced and Boeing was in the airplane manufacturing business. As an outgrowth of the plane building business, Boeing and pilot Eddie Hubbard had been flying the mail between Seattle and Victoria, British Columbia. In 1926, when the United States Post Office decided to allow private contractors to carry domestic mail, Boeing sprang into action. He directed that the Boeing Air Transport Company be formed to bid on the contract and thus lay the cornerstone of United Airlines. Three other airlines were chartered in 1926 for the purpose of flying the mail. Operating with varied levels of success and over vastly different routes, these airlines competed as best they could. But by 1930, Pacific Air Transport, Varney Airlines, and National Air Transport had been purchased by Boeing Air Transport. And on July 1st, 1931, United Airlines was organized as a management company for the four airlines. A new era in air service was launched. The focus of air travel began to change from primarily carrying mail to carrying passengers. New airliners and new technology came along at an astounding rate. New careers were created overnight. Prior to 1930, passengers on board the 10-seat Boeing 80 were either served by one of the pilots or were left to fend for themselves. In 1930, Ellen Church, an innovative young nurse with aspirations to fly, suggested that nurses be employed to serve meals and attend to the comfort and needs of the passengers. A young man named Steve Stimson, who later became known as the father of stewardess service, hired eight women on a three-month trial basis to work as cabin attendants flying the San Francisco to Chicago portion of the main line. And what we now know as the flight attendant profession was born. I was the first stewardess employed by Boeing, which later became part of United Airlines. My initial assignment was to recruit seven other girls. I hired three in San Francisco and four in Chicago, all registered nurses, and we began flying in May. Here's an old picture showing us in our new uniforms. Very stylish at the time, shower cap berets. The plane was a tri-motor Boeing, enormous then, but a pygmy compared with today's jets. It carried 14 passengers. As I recall, and cruised at about 125 miles an hour. Being a stewardess was rather rugged at the beginning. There were times when some of the girls even helped to refuel the plane. Now, I remember standing out on the wings once or twice pressing some gadget or other while the co-pilot started the engine. Young women interested in the job in the early years had to be single, no more than 25 years old, stand 5 feet 4 inches or less, weigh 115 pounds or less, and possess a nursing degree. Starting salary was $125 a month for 100 hours of flying. As the size and design of aircraft grew and changed, so did the role of the stewardesses. More and more young women accepted the challenge of a career above the ground. By 1940, the airline industry was thriving and growing. But halfway around the world, the rumblings of war could be heard. As World War II exploded in the Pacific and our country was drawn into the conflict, United provided much needed support to the cause. 
Under contract from the federal government, United Crews shuttled men and munitions around the globe. United's overhaul base at Cheyenne, Wyoming, was transformed almost overnight into a modification center for Air Force bombers. United trained pilots, technicians, and mechanics helped to fuel the war machine. And since they were nurses, many stewardesses left the company to join the Army Medical Corps, forcing United to drop the requirement of a nursing degree for prospective stewardesses. As the war drew to a close, United redirected its energies back to commercial aviation with a more highly skilled and motivated workforce than ever before. As the 1950s began, United Airlines was completing 25 years of air service and was poised for a new age in travel. In 1953, United and RCA began developing airborne radar. New planes and new routes were added to serve the ever-growing public demand. Red carpet service, which included rolling out plush red carpets for passenger boarding, was inaugurated, and pilot training was becoming much more sophisticated with the installation of four electronic flight simulators at the Flight Training Center. Non-stop coast-to-coast -coast air travel began, and stewardesses had a job that was a quarter century old. By 1959, the jet age was underway, and United took delivery of one of the first commercial jet airplanes, the Douglas DC-8. A tent show called Jetorama began a cross-country tour to promote jet travel. Friends, I would like for you to meet the general manager for Jetorama on behalf of United Airlines, Mr. R.L. Robbie Mangle. Robbie? Red, nice to have you. Nice of you to let us come. Could we look around? Well, wouldn't you please? Come All right. On in. Come on in. We'll show you what's going to take place at Jetorama. Now, when I walk up to the counter at United Airlines, what do I do? Well, first of all, if you'd like to go on the 21st of October, we will just make that reservation for you. And Mr. Rowe, how many will be in your party? Well, it's such a thrill, I've decided maybe I'll just go alone. Want first class service? Oh, I want to go first cabin, yes. Uh-huh. Now, let's see what we might have available. And our mainliner 816 is certainly available on the 21st of October. And your reservation is confirmed. Now, this yes. is Maureen Walker. Maureen Walker. Well, you we have to be a walker. <laughs> because I'll tell you, we have a big airplane here. What is the seating capacity, Maureen, of this airplane? 52 in the first class section and 53 in the custom 52, coach. 52, 53. Now, you hit my arithmetic. 100 and uh, 105. Plus and a crew of how many? A uh, crew of four stewardesses and then your flight personnel up front. Maureen, show me uh, well, where... You sit down in this seat right here and I'll demonstrate some of our features. Would you do that for me? Push this little button here. Oh. Lean back. In 1961, United acquired Capital Airlines and became the world's largest air carrier. Capital's employees and aircraft complemented those of United, and an even stronger airline was created. Also in 1961, United's Instamatic reservation system went into service. That same year, the airline opened a $2 million training center and executive office complex in Elk Grove Village, Illinois. This impressive facility centralized the company's top management and provided state-of-the-art training facilities. For stewardesses, this was a far cry from the very early years when their training consisted solely of on-the-job experience. Again, new airplanes and technology marked this era. 
The Boeing 727, which is today still a workhorse of United's fleet, was introduced in 1964. And as television became a greater part of American life, United moved to advertise on the medium with dramatic results. In 1965, it launched one of the most effective and memorable corporate slogans. By the friendly skies of United. With humor and emotion, United told its story. Just a wee. Be back before you know it. Take me along if you love me. Take me along if you love me. Take me along with me. I love you a little cutie, but the office is my duty. My heart will rise. Sweet glory of fire above a throng. If you will take me along with you. I'm ready to go. Graduation day at United Stewardess College. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye. But the dawn is breaking. It's early morning. It's a happy day for the girls and their parents. I'm so excited. Just can't wait to fly. So kiss me and smile. Above all, it's a day when the friendly skies become even friendlier. I'm leaving on a jet plane, and soon I will be back again. By the friendly skies of United. Through creative and sometimes touching ads, the friendly skies became one of the most recognized and emphatic ways to describe the image of United. As the age of Aquarius drew to a close, bigger changes were on the way for the company. With the arrival of the 747 and DC-10 aircraft, capacity and service reached new levels. Stewardesses went from serving fewer than 100 people on a flight to attending to over 300. On a more personal level, United at this time rescinded the rule that stewardesses could not marry or have children, a rule that had been in effect for 39 years. Also, in response to the times and the success of the Hawaiian Steward Program, United began hiring men in 1972 to perform in-flight duties on domestic routes as well. As a result, the name of the profession was changed to the all-inclusive term, flight attendant. With improvements in salary and working conditions brought about through collective bargaining, the stewardess job had evolved by the 1970s into the flight attendant profession. The flight attendant profile changed from that of a young single woman who remained on the job approximately 18 months to a more mature business-oriented individual with a full-time career in mind. The 70s were a tumultuous time for the airline industry. High costs, a weak economy, and government regulations all conspired against United. But in 1978, with the prompting of some of the airline giants, the government agreed to deregulate the industry. The transition to deregulation caused an upheaval in the industry as the 70s turned into the 80s. I think the jumbo's coming going off the right. Okay, he's going off the right. Just wait right there, uh, United 447. That company jumbo is coming out. The United uh, 929. After the company jumbo comes out, the company from your right goes in, straight in. 789, you do the same. Kilo 7, uh, taxi real slow. They got 110, one try to get out of there. And what I want you to do is make a right turn, go to the inner, and just hold short. New airlines sprang up almost overnight, and some faded away just as quickly. The 80s were to become the era of mergers and acquisitions, with United in the thick of the fray. In 1983, United began service between the Pacific Northwest and the Orient. But it wasn't until 1986 that United became a true international carrier with its purchase of Pan American's Pacific routes. This strategic purchase positioned United as a major player in the Pacific, 
one of the most lucrative markets in the world. This expansion established the company's prestige and status as a world-class air carrier. To support this new operation, United implemented the position of regional flight attendant. This multicultural group continues to contribute to the superior service needed for the company's success in this very competitive part of the world. In the 90s, as United set its sights on the next century, the friendly skies covered more of the globe than ever before. Beginning with a modest two flights a day from the United States to Frankfurt, Germany, European service has grown to include gateway operations such as London and Paris, with additional service to the major business centers on the continent. The old world charm of these historic cities highlighted United's long-awaited entry into the European community. Meanwhile, half a world away, flights to South America were inaugurated, completing a network that merges the culture of the gauchos to the ideas of the Renaissance. United has always been a leader. Today, the Pilot Training Center in Denver, the largest commercial training facility in the world, trains flight crews from foreign and U.S. carriers, as well as government and private industry. The maintenance operation centers in San Francisco and Indianapolis set the industry standard for excellence in maintenance. And United's flight attendant workforce is one of the most highly qualified in the industry, with flight attendants having to successfully complete an intensive training program focusing on safety and customer service before earning their wings. We at United invite everyone to sample the service and dedication built on years of experience. From a biplane with 10 passengers to a 747 with over 400, from Bangor, Maine to Bangkok, Thailand, the spirit of United soars. From stewardesses to flight attendants, people with vision and determination formed new careers. From open cockpits to all electronic flying, Expanding technology has conquered new horizons. United's history is one that every employee can be proud of and that others envy. And through it all, the spirit of the founders and those who followed shines brightly, lighting the way for ever-expanding opportunities and adventures. And so, we invite those of like mind and temperament to join us in the quest to fly, the thrill of aviation. Come fly the airline that's uniting the world. Come fly the friendly skies.
this is Mike McCabe. Until this morning, the biggest lady he'd ever seen was his Aunt Stella. Now he's discovering this lady. She's bigger than her pictures back in Los Angeles. And she's green. Another thing Mike discovered this morning was the fun of flying on a United Airlines jet. First, he got a pair of junior pilot's wings. Then he watched a color movie. And ate lunch. Sirloin. Mm -mm. Now, he's watching one of the most exciting views in the world. Mike's too young to have a lump in his throat. All he knows is he's discovering America. Have you? Discover America. United flies to more of it than any other airline. By the friendly skies of United. Did you know that United, the world's biggest airline, will serve 16 million cups of coffee this year? That means we'll need 73,000 gallons of cream. By the friendly skies of United. Can't you take me along? But honey, it's business. It's just a week. Be back before you know it. Take me along if you love me. Take me along if you love me. But the office is my duty. My heart will rise. <laughs> Sweet glorious fire from a throng. If you will take me along with you. If you take your wife along on United, we'll give you up to one third off her fare. Let you charge it with our credit card. And in most cities, you can even get reduced hotel rates on the weekend. My lips will sing. Graduation day at United Stewardess College. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye. But the dawn is breaking, it's early morning. It's a happy day for the girls and their parents. I'm so excited, just can't wait to fly. So kiss me and smile for me. Above all, it's a day when the friendly skies become even friendlier. I'm leaving on a jet plane, and soon I will be back again. By the friendly skies of United. All right, girls, we're going to tap our little hearts out now for United Airlines. United Airlines show you this great land you live in with more vacations and more tours than ever before. Come to your land with us. Have you seen the other side of where you live? Don't you know this great big land has got so much to give? Mother country's got her arms open wide. Don't let your good land Pass you by, pass you by. Your land is our land, anywhere a big bird flies. Stretching out in glory, out beneath the skies. Come along, sing the song, people, now's the time. The friendly skies of your land, United Airlines. 
Have you seen the other side of where you live? Come along on United Airlines to the greatest land of all, your land. Mother country's got her arms open wide. Don't let your good land pass you by. Your land is our land anywhere the big bird flies. Stretching out in glory, proud beneath the sky. No airline takes you to more of this proud land than United. From the historic east to the islands of Hawaii. Come along, the other side is waiting. Sweet mother country, have you seen the other side? She's your land and mine. There's a spirit going round at United Airlines. We call it friendship service. The friendly skies of your land. Have you seen the other side? It's people making sure your trip goes smooth and easy. Da, 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 taking da, da, care of your da, da, da. things like we take care of our own. Got so much to give. Mm, mother country. Looking after your comfort every step of the way. Don't let your good land pass you by. Pass you by. Friendship service. Bum, bum, good reason bum, more people choose the friendly skies than any other airline in the land. Proud beneath the skies. Come along, sing the song. People, now's the time. Friendly skies of your land, united. spirit of United Airlines Friendship Service. It comes from making things a little easier for someone else. We like to think it's catching. Spread a little friendship, let it show, watch it grow. Feel it catching on now, everywhere you go. When you show a little extra friendship, sooner or later, it'll come right back at you. The friendly skies of your land, United Airlines. Lots of people have a favorite airline. Which airline, folks? United. United, please. The same. Right. <laughs> United's Friendship Service has a way of making you feel we're flying just for you. Stretching out in glory, proud beneath There's the a sky. spirit you'll find only in the friendly skies. Come along, sing the song. More people choose United, Mother Country's favorite airline. The friendly skies of your land, United Airlines. Have a good trip. Nice talking. Service flight 747 is ready for board. Complete with our roomiest comfort, finest cuisine, friendliest crew, and it's all brought to you by yours truly, Eddie Hummel. At United Airlines, friendship is an energy, a spirit that reaches all of our people. Even those you never meet. Come along, sing the song. That's why we're the number one airline in the land. The better we feel about us, the better you do. The of your land, United Airlines. The 
He stood three foot four as he walked through the door of the United DC team. He liked the wide open space that he saw and the chance to make some new friends. He settled back in, sitting next to his kin, the rope side by side, three across. He was a mighty big man and they gave him his due. Yeah, he was clearly the boss. He's the boss. Boss of the friendly sky. They poured three fingers of his favorite brand with a meal that a big guy could hold. Then they rolled out the good times right there where he sat, a TV talking picture show. He's the boss of the friendly sky. As he strode off the plane to a summer adventure, he gave a smile and a wave of his hat. And the friends he had made waved goodbye in the hope that one day the boss would be back. By the friendly skies of United Where you're the boss United presents the most 747s and DC-10s to California Take him away, maestro body planes to California. We built the largest airline in the free world. Around you, my friend, by the friendly skies. Relax, Nancy. Don't want the whole plane to know it's your first day. Hi, friendly to the welcome sky. Oh, hi. Welcome to the friendly sky. All you need to know is there's a friendly skies around you, my friend. Your beef, medium. Your hot dog, medium. Watch the jokes. Around you, my friend. Buckle your seatbelt, man. More coffee. The sky. Champagne. Strong, we're gonna see you More ice. Clink. You're welcome very much. Okay. With people like Nancy, we built the largest airline in the free world. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Where might you be going with that? Same place you're going, Father. I'll check it straight through for you. I'll take care no of matter where you go, we're flying high and wide around you, my friend. Have a nice flight, Father. God bless you. Well, it looks like I got about an hour yet, eh? Right. Take me to the airport. Okay. Ten minutes, I'm afraid. Yeah. Can we get a hurry? I just wanted a couple of days to go. At United Airlines, we give you all we've got, from curb to curb, take off to touchdown. You wouldn't be spoiling me now, would you? We're gonna try. We built the largest airline in the free world. What is it you're flying? United. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> Nobody knows Hawaii like United Airlines. We've been flying there for over 30 years, bringing more people to the islands than any other airline. Come with us and discover the wonders of our little corner of the world. Kahalu, Kalemaumau, Kahili, Kona, Puhima, Vayanapanapa, Kilauea, Kaumana, Kaneohe, Kauai, Kukui Olono, Laie, Waimea, Maole, Pooku, Hanoma, Oahu, Na Vilivili, Na Pali, Na Poopoo, Lahina, Kanapali, Wailua, Hanamola, Ena, Koko, Kapa, Apahoa, Kapu, Puloa, Pale, Kalapana, Kole, Kole, Kalapapa, Puna, Pele. Hawaii. That's what the friendly skies are all about. Come, discover the many wonders of Hawaii with the airline that knows her best, United. Fly the friendly skies. 
This summer, the friendly skies will bring more people together than any other airline. Hello, friend. Hi, baby. How you been? Not the grandma. You're a welcome <laughs> sight to see. Did you think the time could ever wear my memory? Welcome home, son. Tell me all about you and then we'll go back to way back when. That's what friendly skies are all about. United can save you up to 50% to someone you love. No, there's nothing. work is done and the competition was a little rough, it's good to get back to some easy riding and a friend. That's what friendly skies are all about. I spent the whole day on my feet. I wish I could say that. Spread your wings, fly away. Nothing's all that far. Follow the sunshine. Got three fingers. Reach for a star. What was that fool's name? Bad medicine. And he was. Here's friendship on high. That's the nicest ride I've had in a long time. By the Philly sky. Rodeo, cowboy, there you go once again. But I know you'll be back right now with a friend. Good luck, Jim. Thanks, Mom. Somebody's going to hire themselves the best little artist this side of the Mississippi. I hope so. Spread your wings, fly away. Nothing's all that far. What you looking for? My first job. Oh, flight 117. You're going my way. Come on. Follow the hey, sunshine. Reach for a star. I've got a safe place for this. It's only your career, right? Right. Feeling that the wind's behind you. That's me. Yeah. You want it? Hey, that's great. You're really good. Anything I can get you? How about a job down there? Oh, I think you're going to do just fine. Do you know how to get downtown? I'm here. That's what friendly skies are all about. Midtown Manhattan, 285 Madison Avenue, between 40th and 41st. Take the tunnel. Yes, sir. Fly the friendly skies. Why do business flyers choose United to California? Sure beats traveling on my tuna boat, doesn't it, Charlie? I don't know, boss. I ain't never been on your tuna boat. Well, there's good service, there's good food, and best of all, it's a non-stop. You know? United offers more non-stops to California than anyone. This California non-stop sure has good taste. I'm really hooked on United to California. Boss. Sorry, Charlie. People who fly for a living fly United's friendly skies. Good luck. Thanks. You're not just another face along the way to another place. Sorry, can't use them. Maybe next year. Don't need them. Great lunch. You're the pride of United's friendly skies. Dinner? Oh, uh, not just now. Rough day, huh? <laughs> Twice that. Hey, tomorrow's another day. We should have been here yesterday. No, they're not right for us. Uh -uh. Got so many ways to fly ya. Well, maybe We're I can United do something by ya. Can you help out a dead battery in 18B? Sure. Got nothing to add up anyway. Top trip, huh? What business you at? You're well, not just flying. You're flying the friendly skies. Are you sure you can get 350 million of them to me by the first? You're not just How flying. How was the trip? Not bad. You're flying the friendly skies. In this Olympic year, United Airlines salutes the best friends an up-and-coming athlete could ever have. Mom and Dad. Come run with me. Time for practice, son. Fly with me. Spread your wings and reach up to the sky with me. Together, we can go the world just one better. 
United, we know how important it is to have a friend standing by you every step of the way. We are proud to be the official airline of the 1984 Olympic Games. You're not just flying, you're flying the friendly skies. You're not just another face along the way to another place. Uh, I'm hoping for a wide body. I probably won't get one. This flight? Sure will. You're the pride of United's friendly skies. I reserved 11G in advance. You probably don't have it. Got it right here. So before you go, my friend, we want you to know, my friend, you're not just flying, you're flying the friendly skies. I like lime in my tomato juice. I probably can't get it. When you fly United Airlines, you can set your sights a little higher. Magazine? You probably don't have anything I'd like to read. Well, here's an article called Positive Thinking Always Wins. I know. I wrote it. You're not just flying. You're flying the friendly skies. You probably won't believe this. I had a very nice flight. You're flying the friendly skies. You're not just another face along the way to another place. Where are you headed today, Private uh, Zaleski? Home. Home. It's one of our most popular destinations. You're the pride of United's friendly skies. Thank you, sir. So before you go, my friend, we want you to know, my friend, you're not just flying, you're flying the friendly skies. You must have been starving. We're running a great mess hall here. Flying high across the land. Don't worry, son. Yours will grow back. We're giving you everything we can. And we've got more to give along the way. Zaleski. Dr. Zaleski. Yes, sir. You're home. You're not just flying. I'm home. You're flying the friendly sky. Once every four years, a fever sweeps the land. A fever that burns within us all to be champions. Olympic fever. The bar is at 21 feet. He's going for a new world record. Can he make it? On your way, you're climbing high like the morning sun in the golden sky. She'll be attempting a triple somersault with a one and a half twist. She approaches the platform. The new horizon waiting for you. Reach out for the brightest star that you can near perfect performance now here comes the big finish the higher you reach the higher you can fly with this lift he'll attempt to break the world record he sets he lifts olympic fever we've got it too as official airline of the 84 olympics united salutes the champion and all of us you're not just flying you're flying the friendly sky United States. Chicago, Los Angeles, Boston, Massachusetts. United Airlines can take you to the Far East from more U.S. cities than any other airline. New York, New York. United Airlines to Tokyo and to Hong Kong. Fly a friend to the Far East. You're not just flying. Mili. Kalila, Ohio. You're flying the friendly skies. Here, Doris. Got a meeting in Davenport. Be back tomorrow. Once upon a time, a businessman figured out a brand new way to travel. Afternoon. Cars broke down a couple miles back. Gonna miss a big meeting in Davenport. That's so. Say, would you uh, fly me there and back? Let me get this straight. You want me to fly you there, sit there and wait for you while you have this meeting, then fly you back? Since then, the Friendly Skies has flown a whole lot of business people. 
we found it pays to listen to him. Thanks for flying me. Next time, maybe you could have some coffee on board. You're not just flying. Let me get this straight. You want coffee on the plane while we're You're in the air? You're flying friendly sky. <laughs> <laughs>